Hi and welcome! In this video we are going to improve our calculator program by adding our own functions and a while loop. Let's begin by adding functions. A function is a group of statements that perform a certain task. A function may consist of a return type, function name, parameter list and a function body. The return type is the data type of the value that the function returns. Some functions perform operations without returning a value. In this case, the return type is void. To return a value, we use keyword return and a variable name or actual value. Inside the parentheses, we may want to give our function some variables to work with. A function may contain no parameters. It's optional. To use a function, we have to call it first by simply passing the required parameters along with the function name. And if a function returns a value, we need to store that value. A little side note. Whenever we pass a value to a function, it makes a copy of our value and uses it instead without modifying the original value. At this point our calculator program looks a lot better. It's easier to read and understand what's happening. Now let's handle a possible error. Our calculator can perform only four operations – addition, subtraction, multiplication and division. If our program receives an unknown operation, we want to tell the user to try again. We could use a while loop. Here's the syntax of the while loop. Inside the parentheses we put our condition. Briefly put, while the condition is true, it will perform the same operation again and again until it's false. In our case, we prompt the user for an operation. We use a boolean data type called unknown operation and set it to true. If the operation is known, unknown operation becomes false. It exits the loop. If the operation is unknown, it will print a message and then return to the beginning. Let's test our program. It gives us an error and asks to try again if we supply our program with an unknown operation. At this point, we don't really need a boolean in our loop. We could just put true inside the parentheses and use break statement to exit the loop. Once it hits the break keyword, it will terminate or break out the loop and continue down below. Let's test it. It works! That's it for today. In the next video we will start making Hangman game. We will learn what strings are, how to read a string from the user, and what are arrays. Have a nice day!